Hey guys, Jazzy here. I wanted to make a quick video about how I get dressed as a wheelchair user. I've gotten a couple of requests from people asking how I put on, say, like my outfit for the day and if I do it from a wheelchair or if I do it in my bed. So I used to get dressed in my bed because it's easier because you don't have as much stuff to get caught on and you're already flat. So doing things like pulling up your pants, underwear, blah, blah, blah is much easier when you're laying down because you don't have so much stuff to have to go over. However, as I've gotten, you know, further into my injury and more experienced, I find that I actually like to do it in my chair just because most of the time whenever I'm thinking about getting dressed, I'm actually coming back to my room. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to get out of bed and then come back to get dressed, whereas it would make more sense if I just would have gotten dressed when I woke up but I'm not that organized. So basically, I'm gonna show you how I get dressed in a wheelchair, and it's going to be PG, I promise. So nothing, you're not gonna see anything, don't worry. So basically, I'm gonna be putting on these pants, these socks, which are compression socks, which I realized that a lot of paraplegics and wheelchair users have issues with compression socks because of how tight they are and you know the lack of movement and just a regular tank top. And my shoes, these are so easy, like I don't untie my shoes. I don't think I've ever like untied and retied a pair of shoes since I've ended up in a wheelchair. Big perks. Also, you might not be able to tell, but these are like four years old. Like, seriously. Wheelchair life rocks for preserving your sneakers. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll start with pants because I always start with my pants and then my socks and then my shirt. So we'll go ahead and start there. The way I get undressed is I just go ahead and make sure I'm decent here. There we go. Just go ahead, get my hands underneath my pants, lean to one side, pull down the hip, then lean to the other side, pull down the other hip, and then go ahead and I grab the cuff of the pants or whatever I'm wearing, shorts, and I just pull off that pant leg. I go ahead and I just do that sock at that point too, just it's easier that way. Leg down, the other one, all one motion. Okay. I'm actually going to go opposite of what I said. I'm going to do my socks first because these are compression socks. If they were like ankle socks, I probably would have waited. But go ahead and grab my foot. Try to get these to points where they're less resisting. Go ahead and put it on. These are pretty tight. Um, I got them, actually these were a wish purchase, and I got like five pairs for like 20 bucks, it was awesome. And I try to wear compression socks as much as I can because of blood flow and circulation and all that kind of stuff. I don't have great circulation, um, part due to being in a wheelchair, part due to um, the issues I have with my heart. Okay, so that's one. It does not take me very long at all to get dressed. I can actually get ready in the morning in like 10 minutes, which is unheard of. But it's kind of a kind of nice actually. So okay. Washing machine. Okay. Socks. I'm gonna move on to these pants. These pants are a little um, different. The pant leg is actually very narrow, so I have to unzip both sides, otherwise I can't get my feet out of them. That's what I get for having a small butt. So for pants, it's basically the opposite of how I took them off. I just go ahead and I fish them on. And I actually like to stick my shoe on at this point because when I go to pull my pants up, I like to keep my feet from sliding off of my wheelchair for rest. Okay. There we go, that's one. And down there. Here. 
I swear, being in a wheelchair is probably the only time in my whole life that I might consider doing a how I get dressed video. And it's probably the only types of videos that I would ever watch wondering how somebody does get dressed. Now these pants are weird because the tag is in the front, so I always think they're on backwards, but the logo's in the front, so I'm good. Okay, so what I do is I go ahead and pull them up as far as they'll go, including giving myself high waters briefly. And I just go ahead and lift and pull, pull down and pull up, and then, there we go. Now I have a little bit of ability to lift my hips so I use that to my advantage, and I go ahead and pull, sorry, sneeze. Ugh. Okay, so that's the pants. And if you're in a wheelchair, you'll understand the um, unfortunate thing to where you always look like you're preparing for a flood, always. So that's the pants. Shirt is easy, just like everyone else. The beauty of being in a wheelchair are your legs are always a table, so you don't ever have to worry about like not having a surface. Okay, so shirt, just make sure I'm not going to fall forward or to the side, and just pop it on. And there you go. That's how I get dressed in the morning. Getting undressed, you saw dressed. It's pretty simple for me. I know a lot of people um, struggle with getting dressed and putting clothes on, especially socks and shoes because of the inability to lean too far forward because of poor trunk control. My biggest suggestion would be if you have issues doing that is either A, definitely bring your feet up to you by grabbing them. Make sure you're stabilized because otherwise you're gonna tumble. Grab your ankle and just bring it up to you. If you don't have that flexibility, they make these cool things where they, you can actually put your socks on. It's like a stick. Honestly, I can't explain it. I'll put an image right here. And basically what you do is you use that to keep the sock open, then you slide your foot down in, and then as you push it, push your foot down in and pull that stick up, the sock unrolls up your leg. For shoes, they make shoe horns or the duckbill things that are a longer version that have a little shoehorn on the end with a spring. And for your laces, A, you can do what I do. You can just like not tie them and then just put them on like that. Or you can get elastic laces from your local shoe store. They're mowing outside. So I'm gonna have to cut this video short. Um, I really appreciate that you stopped by to watch. I know this is probably weird for some people. For other people, this is incredibly helpful. So I really, really hope that this helped you out. If you could do me a huge favor, like this video, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you have any other suggestions or questions that I might be able to help you with, I believe the next installment of my how-to series is going to be sports related. But after that, I'm planning on doing a cooking one because a lot of people want to know how you cook from a wheelchair, especially meals that require moving heavy pots or pots of hot water. So whenever I make my spaghetti this week, I'm going to go ahead and film that. That way you can see how I go ahead and cook as a paraplegic. Um, again, please comment. Comments are huge for my channel. I love to hear my user feedback. I love interacting with my community. And it just, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to build networks. All right, thanks again, and as always, stay strong.